All right, guys, today I'm going to unbox my new mini educator dog trainer collar. Dog training collar. Some people call it shop collar or whatever. But I got one from Amazon and it has two collars in here. So it's a two dog system. All right. And because we have two dogs, a pit bull, American pit bull terrier, and a Kane Corso. So we got this so that we can start to train them to walk off leash and be obedient while they are in public and off leash. And I think this is a great tool to use to keep control over your dogs, also to teach them for them to be responsive. So I'm gonna open it here. Okay, look at this. It says it's humane, effective, safe and convenient and this one that we got is a half mile radius um, range so it can go up to a half of a mile which gives the dog a little bit more freedom to roam around and be dogs so I just opened it for the very first time I'm super excited about this it's so cute it has like I said, it's a two dog system. So this is for one dog and it's red. And this one is for the other dog and it's black. I like the different colors so that I could um, know which dog I am commanding or trying to get their attention. Look at that, Tashi, what's that? It has a remote, very cute convenient if it's right in your hand i can't wait to start using it and it looks like these but i didn't read the manual yet but it looks like one is to control the red color and one is to control the black color super simple and easy this here looks like it's for your keychain and it has another Another piece in here that goes around your neck for convenience so you don't have to always have it in your hand. Here's the adapter. And you can charge both up at the same time. Super cool. What is this? Okay. So I am familiar with this here because we do have an invisible fence to keep our dogs in our yard and it also came with something similar to I'll show you be able to open up the collar let's see and as you can see it has many holes in here for adjusting the size which is really good because we have no idea how big our Connie Corso is going to get and having lots of options and adjustable sizes is definitely good and you know it can even it can even uh, you can even use this for smaller dogs because it has holes all the way up to here which will go on a rather small dog. All right, when we're looking here, I see the prongs. So in this bag, it also has replacement prongs. So I guess these will, these probably screw off or whatever. And let's see. Okay, so this is the charge port. 
and it's covered by a little plastic flap, which is excellent. So I'm going to read the manual, find the manual, see what it comes with, so that I can know how long to charge this up for. Now, I'm super excited about this e-collar here. It had really good reviews. And most important part of using any training tools is how you communicate with your dog. Because you can use all the training things in the world. And... It won't work because you are not making your commands clear. The dog does not know what you want or what you do not want them to do. So you have to create a routine and you also have to um, be consistent. Like if I buzz my dog... I need them to understand what that buzz means. So in order for me, for them to understand what that buzz means, I'm going to attach it to maybe a treat in my hand. So I'll walk away, buzz them. And when they come to me, I'll give them a treat. So it'll be a positive thing. And they'll associate it after repetitive, you know, multiple um repeating it multiple times, they will associate that buzz with coming to me and receiving a treat or love. So that's a positive thing. And we always um, teach positive training. You don't buzz or shock your dog when you're angry. The dog doesn't know what you're doing. So you have to definitely make it clear an open, clear line of communication to what you want and what you don't want. So here, it shows the package contents. The owner manual, okay, the collar or receiver with the straps, the battery charger, yep, the extra contact points, which was these here. So there's a, oh, here it is, contact point tool. That's this long piece in here. Let me open it up. It's a contact point tool. So I guess you're going to use this. And again, the land yarn is for going around your neck, of course. The keychain. Oh, and it comes with a, a clicker. We've never tried a clicker before. You see? She hears the clicker and she came. And we've never tried that before, but I'm excited to use the clicker for the very first time. And this right here is, let's see, it's a test light. That's what it says on the paper. I guess you would use these to test this when you're ready to go and it'll it'll light up. And my dogs are in the back ground. You can hear them barking or whatever because they're guarding the house. Anytime any sound, any people, anything going by. Could be bunnies, could be birds they let us know all right so now that i see the pieces and i actually know what they are here i'm going to see how we can use them so i'm going to read through this manual find out how long to charge my e-collars 
to make sure I have a full understanding of all the pieces and the usages and how to use it. And then I'll come back and I'll have them on my dogs to demonstrate how it works. And we'll just be showing you guys how training is going with our new e-collar or our mini educator. And I can't wait to get back to you guys to let you know how it's going and what we think of the product and how we like it. All right. Stay tuned. Follow, like, share. And be on the lookout for the next video.